For today's Netlink Daily intro, I decided to zoom into my face. Trouble is, there's an appropriate amount of zoom and then an inappropriate amount, and yeah, this is way too much of a zoom in step! Looks like the embargo for AMD's air-cooled R9 Fury is up, not that we would know. AMD, why don't you return our calls? Seems like the consensus is that AMD has successfully positioned the little brother to the Fury X right in between the 980 and 980 Ti, both in terms of performance and price, at 549 US dollars. Hardware Canucks has a great video review, and we've linked some more articles in the news sources as well. We may be doing our own review, but to be completely honest, we don't even have any right now, so if you could all mail AMD asking why they didn't give us a sample, that'd be great. IBM has beat Intel to the punch by producing the world's first 7 nanometer chip with functional transistors in collaboration with Samsung and Global Foundries. The chip is also the first commercially viable one produced with extreme ultraviolet lithography and using silicon germanium as the channel material, which is higher electron mobility than pure silicon. The 7 nanometer process is far from being actually sold in the market. This is a prototype chip, but I'm sure this is giving Intel and TSMC a kick in the pants as they're only just now starting to commercialize 10 nanometer chips. But they better hop to it, 7 nanometer is supposed to afford at least a 50% improvement in power to performance over 10 nanometer. 50%? Sounds delicious. This next story is sort of tech news, but also sort of biological science news. Bear with me. Scientists at the Duke University Medical Center in North Carolina have created a neural network by connecting the brains of three monkeys to a computer. The simians were able to synchronize their thoughts in order to manipulate a robotic arm. The team also connected the brains of four rats with input and output electrodes. They were able to send a message to the brain net, as one researcher called it, which stored the message and recalled it later. The four brains work together in the same way that multiple processors work together in a computer. Getting tired of plugging in a regular CPU like an idiot? Get the new Intel Rat Network. Turd Scooper not included. <laughs> okay, and this just in, this just happened while we were filming Netlinked, Ellen Pau has stepped down as CEO of Reddit. Board member Sam Altman broke the news in a Reddit post announcing the return of founder and original Reddit CEO Steve Huffman to the position. Much of Reddit has been calling for Pau's resignation in recent months, in part because of site changes that threaten to ban subreddits that were used for harassment. Chairman Pau, as she was called, will actually remain a board advisor until the end of 2015. Do you think this is enough to save Reddit, or is it too little too late? Let us know what you think in the comments below. <gasps> Quick bits. Reported benchmarks of Intel's Skylake 6700K leaked, showing a very minor improvement over a 4790K, but I trust these about as far as I can throw them, which is... Well, I can't throw them, they're, they're on the internet. Samsung is working on building 11K displays for phones. Why? Because they'll make things seem 3D because they're so high res. Yeah. Not a good reason. Apple has launched the iOS 9 and OS 10 El Capitan betas, if you're interested. Some staff from OnePlus did an AMA on Reddit revealing the OnePlus 2 will be smaller than the original, will have a larger 3300 milliamp hour battery, and judging by all of OnePlus's promotion for the phone, will just generally be the most amazing thing you've ever seen. New sources for all of today's stories can be found in the forum post, linked in the description. Fem flayed flow de bowler, pied flat flow de bowler fad. Oh, nope. This week is NCIX's Beat the Heat Sale, because it's so hot these days. I mean, today it's kind of cloudy, actually, but normally summer is, you know, it's hot, so... <coughs> Anyways, the Canadian deal is an MSI GeForce GTX 960 OC edition for $259.99. That's 30 bucks off, but you can save an extra 20 bucks with the mail-in rebate. And the American deal is a SanDisk Ultra Plus 256 gig SSD for $84.99. That's 34 bucks off as well. If you didn't know, NCIX has a new sale every week, so the deals are always flowing. Click here or the links in the description to see all this week's deals. All right, that's it for Netlink Daily, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Now I've got to... Wait, what, what are you doing? That was just for the intro, man. No!